Okay, so what do we have here? Here we have Spawn number one by Image Comics. And Image Comics came afloat back in 1992 along with this comic book. Uh, I could say that, and this is just my opinion, that this was their greatest, you know, that made him uh, more popular. Uh, McFarlane, Todd McFarlane, he actually worked for DC and Marvel, Marvel previously. He did uh, Batman, he did some uh, Spider-Mans, and he was the first one to draw Cable from the New Mutants. And I'll have that comic book coming up soon. Um, but this one, Image, like I said, was created by a group of people that wanted to, I guess, break down from uh, Marvel and DC, as my understanding is. I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like a fully knowledgeable of all that corporate blah 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 blah, right? But anyway, so Spawn it was uh, created by Doug Mc, uh, Todd McFarlane, and it was such a big deal. This comic book, like I said, came out back in May 1992, and number one issue, of course, they don't have a lot of value as of now. I mean. Like this one is a great shape, so maybe if I have it graded, it probably end up being like a 9.0 graded, and then it will be worth, I could say maybe 30, 40 dollars. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you about the price or anything like that. Um, I just want to um, talk about the comic book, this number one issue, and show you a couple pages, and and that's it. So again, this was one dollar and 95 cents back in the day uh you know it's kind of blurry uh but I'll, I'll show you yeah the lighting is not that great there we go so number one edition i mean i just love that cover i have this for many many years now and i'll uh i'll zoom this out a little bit uh think that will do so see it's uh spawn number one may 1992 first printing um and you know story pencils and linking by todd mcfarlane letters tom uh yeah i'm not gonna say the last name uh colors steve olive and blah blah right and uh, you know dedicated to the great jack jack kirby um he is responsible for fantastic four and DC Dark Side. Anyway, so it, it starts, you know, by saying that he doesn't belong. He don't he he don't understand what he is, uh, Spawn. So he finds himself in the on the streets of New York City. People think that he's a member of the Young Blood. The Young Blood was another series that uh, debuted alongside with Spawn. Um, and that's a different story, of course, but they kind of link, kind of like uh, the universe, right? Uh, but, of course, he's his own uh, entity. Um, he don't, all, all he knows that there's only darkness, and, and he don't realize exactly what he is or why he is. He's dead, but then he, he's alive, but he's also dead. So he's questioning himself. And then on this side right here, the, the newscaster is telling, you know, what Al Simmons, um, that was the name for, for Spawn when he was alive, what he was. He said that he was the, um, a coronel and uh, worked for the president, saved his daughter. And, and you can see he has a year, 1987. And apparently he was, he, he's been uh, around without knowing what to do, what he is, for like five years. Um, he saved some people here and there, so here's he he's telling where he felt be, he felt betrayed, and it's funny you know they're trying to tell some of the Spider-Man issues that he he was part of. <laughs> I find that hilarious, but uh, anyway, so I can I can show you everything, but man, look at this art. So he's remembering um, his wife, but he don't know that that was his wife. He all he says that is it was a beautiful woman and and that's why he he um, he has pictures of her in his mind and memories but he don't really have memories if that makes any sense uh, it was taken away from him uh, he said that he made a deal because he wants 
he wanted to come back uh, to her, but he don't remember exactly. He don't remember anything. So all he has pictures in his mind. So I mean, look at this, man. This is awesome. I mean, I read this long time ago, and then Spawn is one of my favorite characters. Um, for many reasons, you know, uh, like the dark, you know, things on it, and then the looks and the story is pretty, you know, for back in the day, it was uh, uh, pretty, pretty intense. It's funny because it doesn't say, you know, and it doesn't have any ratings. I mean, but because there's some uh, rape attempt, <laughs> uh, bad language, murders, of course, but you know. I think kids back in uh, kids back in the day were were a little different from from now these days. Um, anyway, so so I'm just gonna show you, like I said, a couple pages. I can't really show you everything, but you know, he's showing the summer cell for back in the day. He's telling um, you know these guys are trying to figure out who he is, and he you know he right here is, is where he's trying to save uh, women from being raped uh, by a gang, and then. Uh, he actually has a meltdown after he does save her. Uh, not, uh, not a meltdown, a uh, breakthrough in his mind that he can't, he's trying to, he's trying to think what, what happened, where he is, and, and then um, uh, in later pages, he actually takes off his, uh, his, his suit. He's saying, get off, you know, he's trying to get off, out of the suit. So he gets uh, his mask off, and then uh, he looks under his arms, and he realizes that he's burned. So, it's a little different from the movie, of course. You know, the movies took some uh, liberties on, on the story and whatever. But um, the com this first issue is awesome, I think. It's it's pretty short. It's it's not huge. It doesn't have a lot of ads like a lot of the other comic books did back uh, did back in the nineties. Um, you only have a couple of them, and then you know it's mostly like comic cons and things like that. But this right here, I'll see if I can make this little. A little big, uh, small as you can see. Now, I'll try to get better on my uh, showing things. But uh, yeah, so it's pretty awesome, you know, comic book. And then I'm gonna skip towards the end because I can't really show everything like I said. So he's trying to remember and uh, he's fighting gangs in New York. It's been five years since he, be, you know, came back from the dead. Uh, I found this picture funny. Um, but yeah, the story basically ends right here. You know, uh, that's where he realized who he is. And he's kind of funny, he's kind of crying though. But uh, he realized who he is and then um, uh, Violator. I love that character. I actually have the action figure of that one. And of course, you know, some spawn. So I'll just kind of show you kinda quickly some pictures right here. Uh, here, show you that and that. But um, yeah, it, it's it's a fairly uh, short comic book, and then I don't want to touch it too much because, like I said, I, I had this for many many years now, and in you know value wise, I know it's not as valuable as other comic books because they made a lot of back in the '90s. They made a lot of prints. Like the one that um, McFarlane Spider-Man uh, from the from I think it was early '90s, like a couple of years before this. The cover is awesome, and and then there's a lot of different variants. And then that one is kind of you know depends on the variant, the ones that are a bit more valuable. But you know again, Image Comics, you know it was new. They made a and it was the '90s, so they made a lot of prints. So I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the value, and I keep going back to it, but I, I just. You know, I think it's kind of important to realize that a comic book, you know, is to me the value is more, you know, what did to you when you read it back in the day, or if you just right now reading it. Um, you know, like I read this many years ago, and I read it again just to for a refresher and on me talking about this comic book, and and the comic books back then were just different. You know, they were. I read some of the new ones, and yeah, some of them are good. Some, but this is just my opinion. You know, you may have your own opinion, and but I think, I think it was different. Like the art to me was the art, and then the story, and it it was it just 
so cool, you know. And Spawn was like the thing when I was, you know, a kid, I remember. And and I'm just glad to have this issue right here because it's awesome. I have more, of course, but um, number one is always, you know, going to be special for for any collector or any person that read it, you know. Um, number ones, you know, they usually, well, number one. So, <laughs> bottom line, this comic book is great. If you don't, if you find it out there, you know, you can find it. There's a, there's a variant, you know, I, I believe black and white. i never seen it. I just heard of it. And apparently that one's really expensive. Uh, but, you know, who cares? You, I mean, who wants a black and white comic book? I mean, the colors, they're awesome, you know. So, so yeah, this comic book, he's lost. He don't know who he is. He's been, he know he got set up, you know, to come back. But he don't know why. He know he has powers. And it's been five years. All he wants to go do is um, go to Wanda, his wife, and and he believes that by doing so, he's going to remember. And he also is looking for the person who set him up. And I uh, tried to kill him, of course, right? I mean, who kill him? He will, he's going to try to kill that person. So, anyways, this video is getting a little long, more than I thought it will be. And yeah, this is my first one. Thank you for checking out Spectre Comics. Uh, Spectre Retro Comics um, and looking forward to adding more videos and hopefully people get to enjoy them and as I go I'll work in maybe getting the view better but I don't know suggestions welcome comments good or bad it's all good anyways thank you see you next time